Hi everyone, my name is Mohammed Al Tahat. I am a member of the uh, high performance computing team. Today we are going to introduce SPAC. SPAC is a package manager for supercomputers, Linux, and Mac OS. It makes installing scientific software easy. SPAC is not tied to a particular language. You can build a software um, stack in Python or uh, in R, and you can link to libraries written in uh, different languages such as C and C++. Um, and you can easily swap compilers or target um, specific micro, or target specific macro architectures. So the objectives for today's uh, workshop, first we are going to uh, give a brief introduction about SPAC, why SPAC, who can use SPAC and so on. Also, uh, we will show you how can you use a spec on Discovery. So um, Discovery is the cluster which is available on um, uh, here at NMSU. So this this cluster uses spec. So there, there are different instances of spec available there. So we are going to show you how can you use uh, those instances of spec. Um, also, um, we, we are going to show you how can you install um, SPAC on your own um, directory, for example, in your home directory uh, on Discovery. Uh, also, uh, we are going to show some advanced um, command um, in SPAC. We will show you how can you create a package and how can you customize a new package repository and finally uh, we will go over um, in spec environments we will show how can uh, we create environments um, activate and install some packages uh, to a specific environment so what is a spec? Uh, some people, they may ask like, um, what do we mean by spec? Spec is a package, um, before, we, before we define a spec, so let's define a package. A package is an application, and this application could be um, a GUI application, could be a command line tool, or any other software library. So spec is a package manager. Um, this package manager is not replacement of build system. So there are different build systems that can use, that can be used to build um, packages or softwares, such as AutoTool, CMake, um, but SPAC uses um, those uh, build systems to uh, build um, to, to build uh, softwares. So um, suppose that um, you are going to install a package and this package depends on other packages. So this means that you need to take care of all the dependencies of that package, but this pack uh, manages those dependencies for you. So as a user, you don't uh, need to um, manage dependencies and link dependencies to the package that you are going to install. If we look at this image, we can see that um, there are different levels of build systems. So the low level build system such as make, um, they handle dependencies and more commands um, in a single build. So if you are going to um, create your own uh, um, library so you can create a make file and then if you are going to build that that library you can um, type make and then it's going to build the, the library but here you need to be responsible for the dependencies there is another uh, level of um, build system which is higher level um, and this, I mean, this higher level system such as CMake or AutoTools can handle library abstraction and it generates um, make files. So, um, for example, if you do like a uh, configure, it will create the make file. And then once the make file is created, you can uh, make build the system and then uh, make install it. Uh, but there is a higher level of all of these two um, um, systems or build systems, uh, which is the package manager, uh, such as um, SPAC. So the package manager manages package 
installation and it also manages the dependency relationship between packages why we use this pack or why spec is 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 important so if you look at this um picture you can see that it is a symbol tree so it starts with the root which is nano and then in curses and then package conf so we can see from this um symbol tree that the package which is called nano depends on another package which is in curses and this package depends on another package so here if we are going to install nano we know nano depends on this so we need to make sure that this software is installed before we install nano and then this software uh, depends on another software so this software should be installed first and then this one and then the last one will be nano and here we know how can we um, um, like uh, make the relationship and uh, um, connect these dependencies together in order to be able to build nano um, system uh, so this can be um, represented in a spec as the uh, as it looks like in this image so you can see here nano and um version of the uh, package which is 4.9 the compiler and so on so you can see that nano depends on uncurses so uncurses depends on package conf and um this is called that as a spec or configuration and this is used by spec to install a nano package so here you can see that as a user you don't need to take care of the dependency of the um, package that you are going to install and um installing uh, packages using this spec is very simple and very easy so you can use um, spec install command and then uh, the package name or the configuration of the package that you are going to install and spec will install that for you um, spec is portable you can place uh, spec anywhere in your home directory or in your project directory and also by using spec you can uh, build the same package with different configurations so for example you can build nano with different versions um, with different um, compilers as well uh, installed packages uh, automatically find dependencies so here you don't need to use the uh, modules so spec will find if this dependency already installed it will link that to nano otherwise it will install it and link it to um, nano uh, again um, once the the package installed using spec spec will create a module file and you can use that module file to load um, this package to, to to load the package to your environment um there are more than 5000 built in packages um in spec and you can use those packages by installing them and then um uh, using them uh if you cannot find the package that you are interested uh, in in these um, built-in packages so you can you create your own package and the create and package creation is very simple we are going um, to see uh, an example of that in the coming slides um package configuration so when we say package package configurations so let's take an example here so we can see nano and curses package config uh, gcc which is um, a compiler so we can see there are different versions of each one so if we would like to um, um, build nano with a specific configuration so we can uh, build more than um 840,000 um configurations uh, and we can um install or build all of these configurations and the spec allows us to do so so if you look at here in, you can see that we have um different configurations for the same package which is nano so a nano at version 4.3 at 
um, and then um, and courses at version 6.2 here. But if you look at this um, image, you can see that Nano 4.3, but and courses 5. 0.9 the version of incursors and another version which is nano 4.9 and you can have more and more and more of um, configurations and you can install these um, configurations using a spec without any issue what's the spec so in the coming slides um, you are going to um, hear spec many times so what is a spec um, spec allows users to use different build configurations to install a package, as we saw in the previous slide. And those configurations are called um, specs. So they are not only the package name and the version of that package. In this spec, you can specify the compiler, the compiler version, architecture, compile options, and dependency options for any build. So here, is an example of a spec which is for nano and here you can see that at is used to specify the um, version of that package and carrot is used to specify the dependency so here the version is 4.9 um, the dependency incurs at versions um, 6.1 and here plus C is used to um, enable um, um, variants um, or Boolean variant, so plus means enable, and tilde or minus means disable. So this is called as an abstract spec, which is um, typed or, or inserted or um, entered by the user. But the spec uh, will uh, convert this spec to another spec, which is called as concrete spec. And this spec is complete configuration that can be used uh, by spec to build packages. And we are going to see uh, some examples. How can we uh, install um, packages using different uh, specs? Concretization. Um, so concretization means that um, if if you look at at at, at this uh, user input uh, or abstract specification, you can see that it has some constraints, but some other. Uh, constraints are missing here. So concretization uh, means that SPAC will take um, this user input and it's going to normalize it by creating um, a, gra uh, a tree. And in this tree, you, you can see that um, nano depends on other dependencies, but there are some parts um, missing here. So for example, the compiler, if there are any um, flags or variants need to be specified. So what spec does, it concretize this uh, a version of spec uh, to get to fill um, the missing parts by if you look at the red colors here, so all of these were added by spec. So the um, percent means that the compiler, which is GCC at version 9.3, um, and here the same thing, the GCC was missing. So spec added that. And at the end, you will get a concrete spec, which will be uh, used to um, build a nano package at this specific spec. There is a command called the spec spec command. So um, spec spec command is used um, to uh, see or uh, find out what is the concretized version of a spec. So for example, here, this is the abstract spec or the user input spec. So the user enter or type uh, the user types this this the spec and if you would like to see what is the complete spec will be used to uh, install um, this configuration you can use this spec spec and it will show you um, the output which has two different uh, type of spec input spec which was entered by or typed by the user and concretized version which has the complete configuration of this spec um, to be installed um, by spec who can use spec um, there are different users who can use spec um, so for example end users of hpc systems they can install and run hpc applications um, like for example um, discovery users they can use spec to install um, 
packages and we are going to show you how can you how can you do so um, in the next slides um, also package developers so they can use spec to, uh, to package uh, a software for distribution um, user support teams at uh, HPC centers like uh, our team so um, we use uh, spec to deploy software for users um, so if you later on we will show you that some uh, software uh, has been installed uh, by using spec now uh, we are going to talk about spec on discovery so as i mentioned before um, discovery uh, has spec installed and uh, it has different versions of spec so for example v0 16 or 13 and more uh, and these um, versions are available um, in um, the uh, directory called software spec and users here have only read permission so this means that they cannot install or uninstall or change um, the uh, installation of spec they can only explore um, packages were installed using um, spec um, so as we as i mentioned before spec creates a module file for each installed packages so as a user you can explore the configuration used to install packages um, so if you would like to do so you need to source the appropriate setup script uh, file which is setup uh, setup emv.sh for a specific version and we are going to see in this in the next slide so if you would like to explore installed packages on discovery the first thing um, you need to know which spec version was used to install that package so suppose that you would like to um, know uh, what uh, is the uh, what is this the concretized uh, spec for and so you need to know um, what is the version of spec was used to install this package in order to be able to do so we need to use um, the command uh, or the module avail command and this will show you all the all the modules available on discovery and um, which version of spec if it was uh, installed by spec so here we can see that this package was installed using spec at version uh, 13 and you can see that there are some uh, um, unique uh, strings at the end of each uh, package so these called uh, hashes each uh, package installed by spec will have um, a unique hash so this means that there are no two um, packages uh, have the same uh, hash and this can make uh, managing the software the software easier so now if you would like to explore this package so what you need to do you need to source the um, setup uh, file for this version so what and once you do so um, then you will be able to explore the uh, specification of this package by using spec spec and then backslash and then the hash for that package and this will show you um, the uh, input spec and the, concret the concretize this spec so here you can get an idea what is the uh, exact configuration was used to install that packet if you would like to have another configuration then you can uh, ask our team to do so or you can uh, install spec in your home directory and in, and install um, that configuration by your own um now uh, let's see how can we explore um, packages on discovery that were installed using spec so let me um, um, get my terminal so now as i said before 
in order to be able to explore a package, so you need to know uh, which version of spec was used to install that package. So how can we know? We need to use the command called module uh, module avail, and this will show all the uh, available modules um, on discovery. And here you can see that, uh, for example, um, uh, automate, I need to um, see the configuration of, or the spec or the concretized spec for um, automate. So I need to know which version of spec was used to install that package. So it's here, it says I'm um, 0.16. So this means that I need to um, source the setup file for this version. Um, so let me uh, copy the hash for this package because I am going to use this hash to um, explore um, the specification of that package. Um, now, as I said before, um, spec uh, uh, is, av is available on discovery in this path. So if you type ls software and then spec, you will see that there are different um, versions of spec. So here we are interested in the version um, 16. So here, what we can do, we can source um, the setup file for um, this version uh, by typing a source, and then uh, we need to find the, the that file so which is available in software spec and then the version which is um, 0 0.16 um, sorry 0 0.16 and here we have to go to share spec and then set up emv.sh so now what does this command do it added the executable file for spec to your path so if we try to find out if spec has been installed correctly so we can type which spec and then it will show us that um spec now available and then we can use a spec now um if i would like to um explore that package so we spec has uh, a command called spec spec and then backslash and then the hash oh sorry uh let me get the hash again so here's the hash of the package that we are going to explore and copy here and this will show us the concretized version of the spec of that uh, package so you can see here the version is 1.16.2 uh, of um, this package and um, GCC 3.0 was used to build that package. And here are the dependencies uh, of that package. So this means that all of these dependencies should be installed before uh, installing um, automake um, package. So this is how can you explore. So suppose that you are interested to have another configuration for uh, automake so you can ask our team to install that software for you or you can install spec uh, on your home directory and uh, we are going um, to show you how can you install packages uh, by yourself okay let me get back to the slides now Suppose that you want to um, use the full functionality of spec because you cannot do so by using the ones which are available on discovery. So you can do so by installing spec in your own directory. Um, so we recommend that you install spec in your home directory on discovery because spec depends on, on, on different um, languages and different compilers uh, such as Python, um, C and C++ compilers, um, make, tar, and others. 
all of these are available on, on Discovery. You don't need to load them in order to be able to use this pack. Um, so you can use your own instance where you have the full functionality of this pack. And uh, in order to be able to do so, uh, it is very simple to um, install spec. The only thing that you need to do, you need to clone the GitHub repository for spec in your home directory or project directory, and then add this back to your path. Um, so how can you add this back? You need to source the, um, the uh, setup uh, a file, and then spec will be added to your file. But here, in order to have a stable redundancy uh, resolution, it is recommended to use the most recent release of spec, and we are going to show you in the demo how can you do so. Um, and now, once you install spec, you will find, uh, or once you clone um, um, spec, you will find that there are different um, scopes or our configuration scopes but here we are going to focus on on only two which are the default scope and site scope so in the default scope the configuration uh, 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 the configurations are in, are stored in um, etc spec default so here it is recommended that you do not change the settings here so if you would like to change any setting in this scope you need to uh, copy them and paste them in another uh, configuration scope such as site scope while it is why why it is recommended to not um, change the settings here because later on if you are going to pull the update from the repository of spec um these settings may get uh, uh overridden and then you you may lose what you have done so far so it is recommended to use the site scope which is uh store which is located in etc spec we are going to see that in the demo uh, if the setting that you are uh, going to update is not available in this scope so you can um, copy that from different scopes and um, um, paste here in this scope and then you will be able to use this back without any issues um the next uh, thing that we are going to talk about is uh, how can you set up the micro architecture and compilers. So Discovery has different uh, micro architecture versions and different brands. Um, so um, it is recommended to use the generic architecture, which is the x86-64. So this means that you can use, because all of the micro architectures, they use this um, architecture. So this means that you will be able to use any node in Discovery to install a package. So um, regardless of the micro architecture of that node. So how can you do so? You need to set the target to be x86-64 in the packages.yml file, and we are going to see how can we do so. Um, um, once you edit that, that file, and add this target, then you will be able to use any node in discovery. Um, there are different compilers with different versions, for example, GCC, Intel, Clang, and all, each of these has like different versions. So if you are looking to uh, build the software using a specific compiler so what you need to do you need to install that compiler and then add that compiler to um, spec and adding compilers to spec is very simple you can use the command spec compiler and and we are going to see how can we do so how can we do so um, in the coming uh, demo now the next demo is like how can uh, we install spec in our home directory so um, let me um, sign out and then um, sign into my account on discovery so 
why I did so, because I need to make sure that um, SPAC is not in the path. So let me double check if uh, SPAC on the, the version of SPAC on discovery is still in my path. So we can do echo and then um, the, the environment, um, the variable, the environment variable, which is called path to see if it is still, so we can see that the path is not here. So I will be able to use uh, my own uh, instance of spec without any issues. So as I said before, um, it is very simple. You can uh, clone the repository or the GitHub repository of spec, and then you can source the setup uh, file, and then you will be able to use spec. So how can um, we um, clone um, the repository of, of, of spec? So uh, simply you can use um, the command uh, git clone, and then the uh, link for the repository on GitHub, and then where you are going to uh, put that repo. So I am going to put it in a spec test. So then here it's gonna uh, clone the repo, and then the repo will be available in the directory, which is a spec test. So let's wait till it's done. It's not gonna take a long time. I think in a minute it will be done. Yeah, now it's done. So let me go to the uh, SPAC, uh, sorry, SPAC test um, directory. So here we need to check out the most recent release of SPAC. So we can do get, check out, then releases. And you can see there are different releases. So we are interested in uh, six V uh, 0 0.16. So uh, six, oh, sorry, V 0 point um, 16. And you see here, it was a switch to uh, a new branch, which is releases uh, V 0 point 16. Now, the default uh, scope will be will will be available in uh, um, etc spec and then default. So all the settings or the default settings are available here. So you can see that we have repos.yaml, we have um, um, uh, config.yaml. So here. And there is uh, another uh, file which is called packages.yaml. So here we need to copy uh, the packages.yaml from this scope. And we need to paste it in etc spec. So here we uh, make sure that uh, if we are going to update uh, or get the or, or pull the update from the Git repository of um, spec, the settings will not be affected. So here, um, oh, sorry, I need to specify the file, which is packages now. Packages has been uh, copied to etc spec. Um, now, spec does not come with any compiler, so you need uh, to add compilers. But before that, you need to um, add the target um, to make the architecture to be x86-64. Um, so how can you do so? You can do so by um, um, editing the packages.yaml file. So etc spec and then packages, the one that we have just uh, copied. And then you have to add a new line after all, and then add the target And the value for target will be x86 uh, underscore 64. And then save and close. And now you need to add uh, a compiler 
before you add the compiler, you need to um, source the setup file for spec. So uh, by using source, which will add um, a spec to the path. So source and then share and then spec and then setup env.sh. And this will add the spec um, to the uh, path. Now, if we try to find out if spec was installed um, successfully, so we can type which spec, and then we can see that now spec is available, and now I can use spec. Spec does not come with any compiler or with any version, so um, you can add um, the default one, which is available on the CentOS uh, operating system, uh, by default, which is, I believe, um, GCC 4.8.5. So if we do spec uh, compiler, um, add, this will add that um, compiler to, to spec. Now, if we do spec uh, compilers, which will show us all the available compilers of spec, then we can see that um, GCC at version 4.8.5 now is available. And then I, I can use um, this version to install um, other um, packages or to build other packages using that um, compiler. Okay. Um, the next thing that we need to do, uh, we need to move um, the file which is available in um, And this is scope, which is dot spec um, scope. And there is a file called compilers. And we need to move that file to uh, etc spec to the um, site uh, scope. Now, if we do uh, ls, OK. If we do ls etc spec, then we can see, um, uh, no, it has not been, uh, sorry, I did LS, I'm really sorry. Yeah, now we can see that um, this file now is here. So any changes for the compilers, it will be done in this um, file. Um, now, suppose that you are, you need to install or you need to have a specific a version of GCC, which is not available now, you need to install that version of GCC and then you need to add it to spec. Uh, installing um, GCC with any version takes like long time. So what I did, I already have my own instance of a spec and I have installed um, GCC with a specific version there. So I am going to move to that instance because um, I'm going to show you how can you add compilers um, just to like save time because installing compilers takes like more than half an hour. So let me, um, um, as I search again to my um, discovery account to my home directory and then if I go to spec and then you can see that I have another instance of spec so now um, I can do ls but I need to make sure that um, spec is not in my path, so I can do which spec, and it see it seems that it is not available now. I can source um, the setup file for this instance by typing source share um, spec and then setup env.sh. Now I can see that um, if I type again which spec and I see that um, spec pin spec now um, is in my path. So this means that I can use the spec. So let me try to install uh, a compiler, which is GCC at version point uh, 9.3.0. So I can type install um, spec install GCC at version 
9.3.0 and I hope that it did not take a long time. So because I have already installed um, this um, compiler, but I need to find out if this compiler is available on, on a spec so I can type uh, spec compilers and then we can see no it has not been added so this means that if you install a compiler so this means that you have not added that compiler to spec you only installed that compiler so the next step that you need to do is um, adding that compiler to spec so uh, you can do so by uh, using spec compiler compiler add and then you need to know the path which was used to install um, that compiler, which is this path. So um, we can copy this path and paste it here. And then it will show you that this version of GCC already added um, to the uh, compilers on a spec. But if you need to know the path which was used to install um, this version, there is another command just to make it easy, which is called a spec location dash i dash i is the install directory and then GCC at version um, 9.3.0 and then it will give us the same um, path which we have got from um, this output. Now, um, I have installed GCC at version 9.3.0 and I added that now I can use this version of GCC to build other um, softwares. Let me get back to, um, before I get back to, there is one more thing I need to uh, mention here. So now I can install packages. So Installing packages is very simple in spec. So if you would like to install nano, so you can type spec um, install um, nano. And this will install nano. Nano is uh, a, a very simple editor. So um, uh, installing nano will not take a long time. I think it's gonna take two minutes. So let's wait till it's done. Well, here you can notice that um, so the dependencies are not available. So spec is installing these dependencies starting from the very bottom. So it is starts with package uh, conf and then it will install in curses and finally it will install or build um, nano. And plus means that this um, package has been built successfully and this is the uh, installation path of that package but you can see that these two packages were installed but they have different paths and now it started um, installing nano so executing phase now you can see that it starts with autoconf and then configure and then build install so configure creates the make files and then you can then it types like it's like you are typing make build and then make install and then the um nano package has been installed or built successfully now um spec creates a uh, a module file for this package so I can load that um, that module in my environment by using spec uh, load and then nano and if I type which nano then you can see that the one that we have just installed is in my in my path so now I can use nano for example if i would like to um, edit a specific file for example test one um, dot text and then 
it will uh, open the editor now i can type this is a test file now we can um um control x to um save and exit so you could, yes and then exit now um we have edited um that file using nano so this is how can you install uh packages uh by your own instance of spec and then how can you use that package by loading um the module file of that package now let's continue <clears throat> with the presentation so now we are going to look at um, some advanced commands in spec uh, for example spec list this command will show all the available packages uh, on spec um, these packages were created by um, spec developers and you can install these packages um, simply by the typing spec install and then which package you are interested um, to install if you would like to show the information of a, of a specific package so um, suppose that we need to get more information about nano there is a command um, which is spec info um, and then the package name and this will show us um, like um, different uh, information about the package. So for example, it's gonna show us uh, or give us a brief description of the package itself and what is the home page of that package if you would like to uh, read more about that package uh, and what are the versions of that package. So you can see that we have um, preferred version and um, save version so preferred version which is the default one um, that can be um, used to install uh, a package if the user did not specify the version of that package and save versions the versions that were added to spec there are some other versions which are not um, safe means that they are they have not they have not been added to the spec and then variants which are the flags so it has none um the phases of installation uh autoconf and then configure uh, make bold make install and the, the dependencies it has only one dependency which is and curses now we are let's go back to installing packages how can we install packages so it's very simple um spec install and then the package name and by using spec you are allowed to build the same package with different configurations so here we have an example like um so install nano without specifying the version or the um compiler or um the dependencies of this version the next one it specifies the version to be 4.7 so this means that now we have two different configurations of the same package we can also um, specify the uh, compiler and which version of that compiler we can specify the version of the dependencies and we can do more than that so this means that we can have like um, many uh, configurations for the same uh, package and spec allows us to install all of these um, configurations um, once you install a package using spec that installation will have um, a unique hash and dash that hash can be used to manage um, the installed packages um, and once uh, again once a package is installed a module file will be created and you can use that module file to load the package to your environment but if you would like to find what versions available of a specific package you can use this pack versions and then the package name and it will show you all the available uh, versions of that package so here we can see like there are many versions of nano and these are save versions but remote versions they have not uh, been checked 
um, um, checksummed. So this means that they have not been added to the package file of um, this package. But if you can uh, install them, but they may um, have some issues. Now, suppose that you need to see what uh, packages has have been installed so far. So there's um, a, a command uh, which is a spec find and with diff with some options, and this will show all the installed packages so far. Um, now, suppose that you installed. If I get back to this image, so now you can see that Nano has been installed uh, using different configurations. So this means that we have different versions uh, of Nano installed. Now, if we would like to um, explore this uh, configuration by using the name of Nano only, this will not be allowed because we have different configurations of um, this package. So here it is recommended to use hashes. So how can we find hashes of installed packages? We can use um, dash L uh, option, which will show the hash of the installed packages. And then if we would like to explore a specific package, we can use that hash uh, to explore that packet. Sometimes we may uh, need to find the um, um, dependencies of a specific package. So we can um, type spec find and then carrot um, and then um, the dependency and it will show us all the um, installed packages um, using that dependency. Um, if you would like to show the dependency information of installed packages, you can use dash L. Um, dash V shows the variance of installed packages. Um, dash P shows the path uh, to uh, package install directories, and there are some others um, you can use them with this uh, command. If some sometimes you may need to uninstall a package, or you 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 find yourself that you are done with a package, and then you need to uninstall that package. So it is allowed by spec by using um, spec uninstall. Uh, with some options, um, and then uh, you can specify the spec or the hash of that package. Um, you can use the package name or its specification. So here you can specify um, the spec, which is not easy because you know some uh, spec of some packages could be like long and it's not easy to memorize that spec. So it is recommended to use the hash. So for example, um, if we would like to find the hashes, again, we can use the spec find dash O and it will show us um, all the installed packages along with their hashes and then we can use the hash to uninstall um, a package that we are going to uninstall. Now, the next topic that we are going to talk about is a uh, package repository. So before we start um, like um, exploring how can we customize a package repository, we need to define a package. What is a package repository? A package repository is a repository is a directory that spec searches when it needs to find a package by name. So for example, if you type um, spec install nano, so spec will go to the package repositories available on, 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 on spec and tries to find um, that package from this um, repository. By default, the spec comes with a built-in um, um, repository, which is called built-in um, and Spec allows us to configure local repositories using a command um, spec repo uh, command. Um, so if we would like to create a new repository or package repository, we can use the spec repo create and then the name of the package repository. 
Um, but this does not mean that uh, the, the repository has been added uh, to the spec. So in order to add it, you need to use this spec a repo add and then the package repository. And this will uh, add this, that repository to spec and then you will be able to use that repository. Um, spec uses the repos.yaml file, which is in var spec to find repositories. Spec searches the repositories in repos.yaml in order. So it, it starts from the first and the last. So here, for example, it will start from um, this repository to find the package. And if it does not find that package here, so it will go down and, and try to find that package in the um, next um, package repository if it is not available in both. So it will um, give an error says that, you know, that package you are looking for is not available. Now, if you would like to create your own package, so suppose that um, you did not find the package that you are looking for in the built-in packages uh, on the spec. So you can install or you can create your own uh, and create and package creations uh, using a spec is very simple. So you can use a spec create and then URL. Here URL means that um, the link that you can use to download the source code of that package. And then it's back, um, uh, create command builds a new package from a template by taking the location of the package source code. And it uses that source code to, uh, it uses that link to fetch the code. And then it will create a package file called package.py in the uh, package repository in the directory of the package in the package repository and then it will open up that file uh, in an editor of the user's choice um, for example using vim um, spec create is, very, is is smart enough to determine basic information about the package so uh, it can determine the name of the package the build system uh, it can uh, um, like add the the URL for that package, all the things that you need to change uh, are marked with fix me labels. So once um, you uh, type spec create and then the URL, it will open the package.py file in uh, an editor and you will find like there are some fix me parts in that file. So here you need to um change or update these in order to be able to get the complete recipe uh, of that package so here um you can add um the uh, description for that package but here you can see that auto tools package so this means that spec um finds that this package uses auto tool uh package build system and it added that here in this a class and um, then you can add the home page of that package so you need to know the home page for that package and then you can add it here so this is the next fix me uh, here you need to add the github account so i am not interested to add my github account you can add that to get uh, emails or notified once um, that package um, is updated and then the next is the dependency. So we saw nano depends on 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 other depend on other packages. Also, um, MBI leaks may depend on other um, packages. So you can add dependencies in this form depends on and then the um, dependency name. And finally, you can add arguments other than prefix. If not needed, delete this function. So if you are not going to add any uh, argument, so you can delete that this function, which is configure args. The last um, thing that we are going to talk about in today's uh, presentation is spec environments. 
So you can use this back environments if you have your own project and you want to focus on some specific packages related to your project. Uh, you can also uh, use environments if you have a special configuration for a group of packages. So suppose that you have a group a group project and you know there are like specific packages will be always used by the group. So you can create um, an environment and you can install these packages to that environment and then you will be able to use um, those packages as a group. Um, and you don't need to load those packages anytime you would like to use them. And um, this will allow users to work with independent groups of packages separately. Um, it also allows uh, common installations to be seamlessly shared. They remain stable and repeatable, even if spec packages are upgraded. Um, creating uh, environments is very simple. So you can use the spec EMV create and then the environment name, and this will be added to this path. And um, there will be um, a directory for the new environment, and that directory will have um, a file called this pack.yaml and this file will contain um, the abstract spec for that um, environment. Suppose that you need to um, create um, your own environment out of the uh, environment directory, so you can do so by using dash d uh, option. Um, now, once you create, once you have created an environment, this means that you have not activated that environment. So you need to activate that environment in order to be able to use it. So this can be done by using spec emv activate and then the name of the environment. This gives um, you everything in the environment on your path, so you don't need to use modules. So anything has been installed to the to the uh, environment will be added to the path. So um, it, using the, the packages will be easier. SPAC allows users to build packages with different um, specs at once. So suppose that you need to um, install a package using different specs. So here, environment allows you to add all of these specs one by one, and then you can install them um, at once using a spec install. Um, and here, once you install packages um, in an environment, another file in the uh, directory of that environment will be added, which is called the spec.lock. And this contains the concretized versions of the abstract specs. Um, spec are portable, so you can uh, create a spec, uh, an environment from uh, available um, environment. It is possible to create a new environment from the environments by copying either, either the spec.tml or spec.lock files, and we are going to see how can we do so in the demo. Now let me get back to my terminal in order to show you um, some advanced commands of SPAC. Um, so the first command that we are going to explore in this demo is the SPAC um, list. And this will show us um, all uh, available packages on SPAC. So suppose that you are interested um, to find all the Python packages, so you can type spec list and then uh, py uh, hyphen and then star. So here star means that anything after py hyphen and it will show us all the py uh, or the packages starts with py hash. So you can see that there are some um, um, packages. And also um, you can write any regular expression you need to find which packages um, match that regular expression. Um, the next command, which is the spec uh, info, 
for example, nano, and then it will show us like the information of nano. The description says that it is a tiny little text editor, and here's the uh, home page and the versions um, are available. Like it has many versions, the dependencies and the phases uh, of installation. Um, now, let's see how can we install the same package using different specs. So suppose that I need to install nano uh, using um, different spec. I can like first do nano um, at a version of 5.9 and this will, um, okay, it's not, so I'm not gonna, um, I need to find the versions of, um, nano by using spec versions uh, command and this will show us all the available um, versions of nano so let me stop here and this back install um, nano at 4.5 so now it's going to install nano with this um, spec. So let's wait till um, this installation is done. Uh, I hope it's not gonna take a long time now. It's installing nano. Um, you know, here you can see that spec found the dependencies installed already so it did not install them it only um added them to um the nano package so it did not take um that time it took at the very beginning so now if i would like to uh find which packages has been installed so far so we can see that there are different packages some of them they were um, built using gcc at version 4.8.5 others were um, built using the um, 9.3.0 gcc compiler and here you can see we have two um, different versions of the same package the same package which is nano now if i would like to uh uninstall nano i can um, type the na the name of that package which is nano but here it says that you know you cannot uh, uninstall nano because we have two different uh, versions of nano so you need to be more specific like which one you are going to uninstall here we can use the um input spec for that um configuration but here we can use the um hash for that um version but there is a command which is called find spec find um dash l and it will show us the um hashes for all installed packages so here i am going to uninstall this package so i can copy the hash and then uh type spec un install and then backslash and then the hash and now it will ask if you would like to uh, proceed and then yes and then this back will be uninstalled let me double check again to see if they, that one was in, uninstalled successfully yes we can see now it's not available um, here um, the next thing that we are going to um, talk about um, uh, is the okay we we covered an installation we covered um, the spec find we covered like spec install um, now spec spec so suppose that I need to find the um, concretize the spec of this embot spec so I can use this hash and then we can use spec um a spec and then backslash and then the hash and then we can see 
like uh, what is the uh, concretized version used to um, install um, that version of Nano. Now, then the next topic that I am going to cover here is the uh, customizing uh, a package repository. So if we try to uh, find out what are the uh, uh, the package repositories available, so we can see built in is available and it has a, a directory called packages. So if we try to find out what packages has, you can see that it has different folders. These folders are the uh, packages folders. So suppose that I need to find out like um, this um, folder, the content of this folder, so I can uh, copy or Z, Z, uh, I, and then you can see we have a file called package.py, and this is the recipe for this package that is used by spec to install that package. Now, suppose that I need to create my own um, spec or my own package repository, I can do so uh, by um, typing spec uh, repo create, and then uh, where I am going to create that repo, it will be in the same um, path, which is var spec, and then repos. Um, and then I'm going to call that test repo. Now you can see this repo has been created. Now I can add that repo by uh, copying this command, which is a spec a repo add, and then um, the uh, path of that repo and paste it here. And this will now you can see that the test repo has been added. Um, now, if I need to double check um, if it has been added successfully, I can use spec repo and then uh, list. I think, yeah, now it shows like what are the package repositories available. So it is test repo and uh, built in repo. Okay, now we know how can we add uh, or create and then add um, package repositories on spec, but suppose that you would like to remove uh, this repo from spec, not remove the directory, just remove the repo. So here we use the spec repo add, but we can do like spec repo uh, remove, oh, sorry remove and this will remove that repository uh, from spec but I need to have um, that repository added again because I'm going to create a package using that uh, package repository. Now the next thing that uh, we are going to talk about is the uh, package creation. So if you would like to create a package you can do so in a spec, the, the first thing that you need to have before you start, excuse me, before you start um, creating a package, you need to have the URL for that package. So here I am going to give an example, how can uh, we create um, a package file for MBI leaks. So I have um, the URL for the source code of, that package so i am going to copy that um link and uh type um spec create and then the um link or the url for the source code of that package but here i did not specify the name of the package so here you can see um the file called package.py has been created and you know it calls the class for that package as MPI leaks. So now spec knows what the name of the, of the package that I am going to create. And here it knows that it's gonna use the auto tools package. But here there are some fix me parts that you, we need 
to um, change in order to get a complete recipe of that package. The first thing is the description, the you are the home page, um, then um, um, the dependency. If we know that the package we are creating um, depends on some other uh, packages, and then the last thing is are the argument, the arguments. So we can add arguments here. But here I am not going to change anything. I am going to um save and quit and then try i need to try uh to install uh mpi leaks to see if this package will be installed or not see here it says that you know there is a configure error and enable to locate adept utils installation adept utils in it is a, a dependency of mpi leaks so here we need to add um that dependency uh, to the package file. So how can we do so? Uh, uh, before before that, let's add uh, some documentation for um, that package. So now, if we would like to open the package.py again with with this with with the uh, editor that we have, so we can use this pack edit and then MPI leaks. And this will open the py the package uh, dot py for the mp leaks package and here i am going to get rid of all of these so it's talking about um the developer for spec the copyright okay now i need to add like some inscription here so i can add anything so i can say that um you know um this is to find leaks in mpi um programs for example and then you need to add the home page so i know the home page for mpi leaks so i am going um to uh copy that home page which is um which is i have here so in order to make it easier for me by not typing the the url or the home page so i have this home page which is uh, https github uh, llnl and then mpi leaks um now let me sorry let me uh, save and exit and try to install um the package again and see where it does go you see we still have the same error here so we need to fix that error in order to be able to install um that uh, package so we need to add dependencies so we know that I know that MPI leaks depend on three other um, packages, which are MPI, uh, Adept Utils, and a cold path. So <clears throat> I am going to add these dependencies by um, typing spec, edit, and then MPI leaks. And here in this part, I can add dependencies. So I need to uncomment this line and then Add the dependencies here in the form depends on the first one is MPI and then I am going to copy this line and paste it here and here I am going to call um, the name of the dependency as call path and the next or the last one is the um, uh i am going to copy that one because i need to set how it seems okay so now i added the dependencies so let me try to um install that package again and see if it will be installed or not okay let's wait to see if it will install that package successfully or not.
I think it's going to take a long time to um, to install all dependencies and then um, the package will not be installed uh, because uh, we have not added any arguments. MBI leaks has some arguments. Um, these arguments need to be added to the package.py file. Um, so I am going to stop um, the installation of this package and then uh, add um, those uh, arguments. So because, you know, it's going to take a long time. So, so where arguments can be added, the arguments can be added here in the, uh, in the configure args method. So how can we add arguments? Uh, before that, we need to find out um, the arguments that we need to add. So, so there are like um, two main arguments which will be used to find the path of the dependencies, so called path and um, um, adept mutals. So we need to add those arguments because they will specify the path uh, of um, those um, dependencies. So the arguments can be added um, as follows, so I have the arguments ready, so I am going to copy and um, and paste these arguments here. So um, set paste and they copy. So here. Oh, sorry. Okay, let me add them line by line. So, So here I added the um, arguments. So the arguments are with depth um, utils. So here we need to specify the path. So the um, spec can uh, find the path of this package by uh, using this method. And then for the uh, with call path, we need to find the path for uh, call path. So it's going to uh, find the path by um, using um, this method again. Now let's sorry. Let's save and try to install this package and see if it's going to be installed or not. So just wait for a while to see if it is going to be installed. It will be installed but I'm not sure if it's going to take like a long time. So here it's it's installing um, the dependencies. So uh, here it's installing star. I think this will take a long time, so let me stop the installation. 
let me try to find the info about MBI leaks to see. Uh, okay, so here are the info of the MPI leaks. So you can see that here's the description that I added. Here's the home page, um, the preferred version, which is only one version. Um, the variants, it has no variants. The installation phases, so you can see that and here are the dependencies which are dipped utils called path mbi uh, all of these are the dependencies so now i think you have a clear idea how can you create packages on spec the last topic that we are going to talk about is the environment so how can we um, use environments on a spec um also how can you create um environments how can you activate environments so in this um in the last part of the presentation we are going to uh, explore uh, spec environments um so the first thing that we need to do in order to be able to use um, environments, we need to create the environment. So spec has a command, which is spec env, and then create, um, and then the environment name. So for example, uh, env test. So I'm going to call it as env test. So now you can see this environment has been created. If I would like to activate that environment, I can copy um, this command and paste it here and um, enter now. Um, this means that the environment has been activated successfully. Now, if I would like to see if uh, what are the uh, or what is the environment that I am in now, we can I can type spec env. Um, then status, and you can see that it is an EMV test. Um, there is, um, um, now if I would like to deactivate before I go to that uh, option, if I would like to deactivate, so we can do like um, spec EMV deactivate, and this will deactivate the environment. But, you know, sometimes you make work for a long time and then you forget like which environment that you are in right now there is an option which is dash b uh, this can be used to um take the environment at the very beginning and then you will the name of the environment at the beginning and the at the very beginning and then you will be able to know which environment that you are in so emv um add our oh, sorry activate dash p and then um the name of the environment which is sorry um which is env test now you can see this gives an idea that which environment you are in right now so now we are in env test okay so i created uh, an environment and i activated that environment so um environments um or spec environments can be used to install uh packages and once the packages are installed they can be used and they can be added to the path without using um module command so suppose that i am going to install nano again so i would like to install nano because it's very simple so spec install nano and this will um um install nano but here it says that all the packages are already installed because we have installed nano before so now let's try to find um um if nano has been added to the path or not so um no why is that because we have added nano before so um let me as such again just to remove that from the um 
from the path now let me source the uh, setup file again which is in share setup emv.sh uh, spec emv um, status to see I am not in any environment I need to activate that environment we have just um, created so activate and then um, emv test now if I need to find out if nano okay so we have the default version of nano which is available on, on my home directory so now I can type spec install nano okay now if I do which nano again we can see that um, it is still the same um, the same um, version of nano as before um, okay let me try to nano that's um, 4.1 so here I installed another uh, version of nano just to show you how can um, this uh, will be added to how can or how will this be added to the um, path and then you will be able to use that okay name environments package merge by file okay let me um back uh emv deactivate spec emv remove um emv test yes now spec emv create um emv one now i need to activate back install mm. let me uninstall so back install nano at 3.2 Okay, um, which now we can see that the one that we have just installed it is added to the path, so now I can use um, this version of nano in my environment. Um, now, if I um, deactivate uh, the environment and activate again and um just to see um if um that package is still available um it is still available in the environment we can see yeah so this is even if you deactivate and you uninstall um the package outside of the environment this will be always available in, in the environment unless you uninstall that um package so let's explore the um directory for that package so it is in var spec environments 
uh, EMV1. And you can see that there are two different files, which are spec.log, spec.yaml. Spec.yaml uh, contains the uh, abstract spec for the softwares on this environment. Spec.log contains the concretized version of the um, spec on that environment. So um, spec.yaml. So this will show um, So you can see that um, it has the abstract spec, which is nano at 3.2. Now, if I would like to um, see the concrete uh, spec, so I can uh, see the spec.lock, and then you will see that the concretized version of the um, um, softwares installed uh, in that um, in that environment. Here, as we said before, uh, spec environments are portable. So this means that you can create an environment from one of these um, files, from this one or from this one. So suppose that uh, I need to create uh, a file from these, so I can, so if I need to create an environment from this environment, for example, spec.yaml, so it will copy the abstract spec for that um, environment. So let's take an example and see how it goes. So um, spec emv create, and then the package name that we are going to create, which is like, for example, as abstract, I abstract, okay. A abstract, T so app abstract sorry sorry um and then um var spec environments emv and then spec dot sorry dot yaml now you can see we created a new environment so um let me find in which environment I am in right now so status so i can see that i am in emv1 i need to deactivate that one so spec um emv deactivate so now i need to activate the one that i have just created which is the abstract so i can copy this and paste it here and now I can see that I am in the abstract um, environment. But here, if we do spec um, find to see what are the um, installed packages, we can see the root spec. So this means that the abstract spec is available, but this abstract spec was not installed. So this means that we will not have the uh, concrete spec so what we need to do here we need to like type spec install to install nano in this environment so if we type spec install so now if we do spec find we can see that there are some other packages were installed in this environment um let me deactivate and show how can um Oh, okay, uh, EMV. Okay, now if I would like to create another environment, so spec EMV create, and then I'm going to call it as concrete. Um, then I am going to create this uh, environment using the spec.lock of the EMV one, so var um environments emv1 spec.lock and you can see now this environment has been created so i need to um activate this environment now if i type spec find now i can see the packages are already installed without installing them by myself because what I have done here, I have created 
um, a new environment using this backdoor lock of uh, an available environment. Um, that's it for the today um, workshop. Um, thank you very much um, for your attendance. And uh, if you have any question, you can, um, or if you would like to read more about um, SPAC, so there are some links here available, then you can refer to these links. Uh, and also you can contact us at HPC team at nmsu.edu email. And we have a website which has some com or some um, documentation, which is hpc.nmsu.edu. And you can go to the YouTube page, which has some uh, tutorial that has been done by HPC team. You can use them. And um, like if you uh, would like to find some useful tutorial, you can refer to that page. Thank you again and have a good day. Bye bye.